The director of the terrorist screening center, Christopher Piotta, spends his days trying to prevent terrorist attacks such as the ones in Brussels. But Piotta says even though the U.S. offers European countries real-time access to its terror watch lists, most of them are not fully using those tools. It's concerning. Mm -hmm that our partners don't use all of our data. We provide them with tools. We provide them with support. I would find it concerning that they don't use these tools to help screen for their own aviation security, maritime security, border screening, uh, visas, things like that for travel. We find it concerning. Making things even more difficult, European countries maintain their own individual terrorist watch lists that each have different privacy standards, which prevents them from sharing some suspects' names with the U.S. In Europe, there are cases where perhaps information wasn't shared about someone because of privacy laws. How does that impact the terror watch lists? It impacts the terror watch lists in a way that our sharing may not be as broad or inclusive as it could be. As new surveillance video emerges of one of the suspected Brussels terrorists who is still on the run, Director Piotta says he fears ISIS terrorists like the missing Brussels suspect could slip into the U.S. There are many that we do know about, and unfortunately there are some that we do not know about. We make sure that we know as much as we can, and we take that information and we use it the best we can to minimize threats to our communities, but we, we can't know everything all the time. Iota says to get on the watch list, there must be reasonable suspicion someone has ties to terrorism. No one can be added simply for their religion, as Republican frontrunner Donald Trump has proposed. Is that even possible? Can you do that? That's a policy decision that I wouldn't be able to comment on. Could you even ban someone because of their ethnicity or religion? No watch listing activity is conducted based upon race, religion, or any other protected right. There has to be a certain level of derogatory information particularized to that individual that would warrant their watch listing. Being of a certain national origin or religious affiliation is not grounds for watch listing. He also says